Indoor or outdoor press scenarios. I'm Elijah Prada, and today we're gonna dive into a topic that often is debated among dog owners. Should dogs be kept indoors or outdoors? Now, for our experience, we've had the balance of keeping them indoors primarily and letting them outdoors like at night or in the daytime, whenever the time is suitable because uh, you know the weather and whatnot, we don't want them to freeze their butts off out there and just live outside. The press canaros, they do much better alongside with the family. And since we don't live on a farm or constantly outside all the time, we keep them indoors with us uh, most of the day. Um, unless we're doing exercising with them or just letting them roam through the yard and just having fun outdoors. But primarily, we like them to live indoors with us and that keeps them very acclimated to understanding what we like and what we don't like. Now, naturally this breed in its, in its heyday, in its main times, were always doing outdoor work as far as protecting the livestock and being a overall guardian outdoors. And so they do thrive outside. But living outside exclusively, I wouldn't really recommend whatsoever. So specifically people ask, what's the best for press scenarios? And if you're new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, we have a ton of good informational videos that we do uh, every now and then. So the debate, indoor versus outdoor. Now the question of whether dogs should be kept indoors or outdoors has been a subject of debate for many, many years. There's valid points on both sides and today we're gonna dive into uh, both of these, particularly focusing on what's best for the press scenario, a breed known for its loyalty and protective instincts and physical prowess. So the advantages of keeping the dogs indoors. Let's start off with the uh, advantages of keeping your dogs, uh, your press scenarios indoors. First and foremost, indoor living allows for a closer bonding between you and your press scenario. It's, uh, it's easier to establish a routine which is beneficial for training and behavioral management. Additionally, living indoors provides protection from extreme weather conditions, whether it be uh, extremely hot or cold. It reduces the risk to exposure to parasites like ticks and fleas and certain things like that. Now, depending on the climate that you're gonna live in, keep in mind that these guys did come from Spain. So the weather out there is, is pretty mild. I mean, it's always really, really nice, uh, generally, never really too hot, too cold. Uh, the humidity is just perfect. So considering that, you know, think that their coat really is, is one layer to it. It's not a multitude of layers. So if it's really cold outside, you live in Canada or Alaska, uh, they're gonna have a really hard time being outside for an extended period of time. Their feet just, uh, aren't gonna be able to have that. Their coat, they're gonna be freezing outside. So we have um, clients in both uh, extremely hot and extremely cold climates. When us in particular, we're living in the, uh, the high desert of California, man, it'd get hot out there. So they would frequently go to the shade when they weren't working and keeping intruders off of the property. We had a pretty large, um, well, fairly large for California, it was about half an acre, and they were able to just roam around and uh, uh, go to the fence line and, and making sure that any intruders uh, were not jumping onto the property. Now, it was a decent area, so regardless, they have their instincts which are gonna keep them to do that. That's how I train my dogs. I want them to be guardians, I want them to be uh, formidable protectors. They know I like that, and so, I hone in on their instincts. We train them properly for this. So it's not about, uh, are they going to do what, what, they're, what they've been asked to do? They've been trained to do this so they know exactly what I'm looking for. Um, now, however, keeping a press scenario indoors comes with its own set of challenges. Uh, they're a large and active breed and they require ample space to move around. Lack of exercise and mental stimulation can lead to behavioral issues such as uh, excessive barking, chewing, and even anxiety. So the advantages of keeping uh, press canaros outside. Now on the flip side, keeping your press canaros outdoors offers them more freedom to explore and expand their energy, particularly beneficial for the breed given their high exercise needs. An outdoor environment can also provide natural mental stimulation. They'll encounter various scents and sounds uh, and sights advantages uh, or the disadvantages of keeping dogs outdoors. Um, keeping a press canary outdoors isn't without its drawbacks. Exposure to extreme weather conditions can be a concern as it's a 
it can pose a risk uh, of escape or even a uh, theft if your Prescanero isn't trained right. Let's say, for instance, you have a, a male Prescanero. I had a, uh, or I have a cousin who basically almost got his cane corso stolen and they, he had two males outside and uh, somebody had noticed that, they had brought a, a female in heat and sure enough, these, they, they got off of their training, you know, because that's how the males are. Unfortunately, they're gonna hone into their, to their nature and they're gonna wanna breed. So the a female or even a different breed is gonna have so much power on them that they're gonna forget their main objective, which is guarding their property. And they almost got stolen uh, if it wasn't for their training kicking back in. So additionally, an outdoor dog may not receive as much social interaction, which is crucial for their emotional well-being and for reinforcement training. Uh, balancing indoor and outdoor time is usually the best. So what is the best approach for Press Canario? Um, balanced lifestyle that includes both indoor or out and outdoor time is often the most beneficial, and that's pretty much what we do here. Indoor time allows for social in interaction with the family, training and bonding, while outdoor time provides the physical exercise and mental stimulation that this dog, um, this particular breed requires. So consideration for a balanced lifestyle. When considering a balanced lifestyle for your press skin arrow, you can hear Bane outside now, uh, think of their individual needs. Factors such as age, health, and temperament should all be considered. Puppies and senior dogs may have different exercise and socialization needs, and some dogs may require more mental stimulation than others. So in conclusion, whether to keep your press canario indoors or outdoors is a decision that should be based on multiple factors, including your living situation, of course, uh, your dog's needs and your ability to provide adequate exercise and socialization, as well as keeping your eye on them. There is no one size fits all answer, but a balanced approach often yields the best results. Thank you for joining me today on this important topic. If you found this video insightful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with other uh, Press Canero enthusiasts such as yourself, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content. Until next time, this is Elijah with SoCal Press, wishing you and your Press Canero a happy and healthy life.